Y254. Imagine. Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now before we went on our break, we were having a very interesting conversation with an individual who has endured so much, particularly in his childhood, but he has managed to come out of the end and be a testimony. He uses his life as a testimony to glorify God. He is a gospel minister and he has really impressed me so far. Jeffrey Hedrins, Karibu Sana. So I want to you briefly when you were born, you were abandoned by your mom. Your mom was a teenage, uh, she was a teenager when she had you. Sweet six, and I can remember because when I was 16, at a sick one, I was a Toto. So for her to have given birth to you then, All right. left you with your grandma, and you had so many health conditions. Up until you were seven years old, eight years old. Seven, years old. Yeah, seven, seven. So seven. tell us about your life in primary. Because already you were talking there were people who were mocking you mm. and they were making fun of you. Because children are children. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's natural. Yeah, and you it's can't. unfortunate, mm. but, but it happens. No, you know, in this life, by the way, if you want to, if you want to overcome, Mm. Uh, you have to understand the fact that everybody will not appreciate you. That is true. Yeah. And that's For a you hard to live to a life. Swallow. Yes. Mm. And that is what affects many people. That is what has led to killing each other because people don't want to swallow the, fr the pride yeah. and the fact that, uh, uh, that people won't appreciate you. Yeah, because you're people, not everyone's yeah, cup of tea. Yes, then people will not also understand the fact that you're going through something. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they'll say, ah. Kila mutu ameenda through that. So, kwa ni yeni mbu wa kwanza. So, can you tell us how you were dealing with that? Especially through you. It was, the, it was not easy. Hectic. I can't lie. It was not easy. At some point, I could cry, literally cry, until the teacher comes to class and she's like, oh my, are you okay? The teacher at some point could even quarrel with all the pupils just mm. because of me. And you know that person. usually sometimes it makes it worse. Yeah. Because then you consider the, the teachers okay, teachers talk come right. Uh, they, they, they push your head, you know. Yeah. And they push your shoulder. We have to say, So so uh, at some point I could even say, please, let her not. Because uh, I got a good teacher. She was a mother. She was a woman. Mm -hmm. And you know mothers, how they, they know how to, to behave so nicely. Yeah. to especially the boy child yeah. pupils so she really loved me she could give me tea lunch she pampers me and uh, I, I i i gained a lot of favor with the teachers mm -hmm. i could sing in the assembly but unfortunately at class three things never worked well until i i just shared before we went for break when i fall down when i was now coming back uh, in the afternoon after lunch and i collapsed for roughly three hours then I was bedridden for three months until I never, oh, the all of term two of mm -hmm. class three, Sikwa Isoma. And my performance went, went low. Yeah. And uh, at uh, term three, when I went back, I took position seven. Oh. But now I just went to class four. Actually, I'm one luckiest pupil who, was, who became a class prefect from class one to class eight. Yes. <laughs> you know that's usually the character. No, when I was in Tessa at class one, eh. I just got the favor. So I was the you need something to protect you. Eh. you. So you have to respect me. Yeah. I don't want to be able to do it, I don't want to be able to do it, I don't want to be able to do it, I don't want to be And you see, you're still very brilliant because mm. for you, you are top three. Yeah. And now unona kufail yako ni number seven. Mm -hmm. And that's really, really good still. So yeah. were you really studying by yourself, ulkuna soma when you're bedridden? I, I at no, home? I, I never studied until I came back. So coming back, I came back when it remained around uh, one week to opening of third term. So I was just taking most of my time studying. Nikirudi mm. nyumbani na soma. Yeah. Na soma. Na soma. I was studying, studying. Then luckily, I took position seven, though they laughed at me, but the teachers could understand. In fact, I, they congratulated me because yeah. I was not there the whole of term two. So reaching class four, uh, 
life became a little bit sweeter. My health was now sour. It was mm. now uh, the head rings on, was now coming. Uh, the pale yellow body in a potter. Now my body was coming uh, good. Though uh, it's just that I was not on some. Please. <laughs> 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 so I, I could, is very I, I could look, look at people well. the way yeah. people are hanging around. You know, I don't. She didn't mean to listen to my class. What I look at my sana. People have really had girlfriends too much, and yeah. I could write their names. They look at my Kasirika. Me, I could not share any of the letters. So I was really jealous mm. because nobody was muda kwa kora ni penda. So I was like, hey, eh, how to end up? I'm brilliant. So the problem was, uh, I was also short. So those yeah. ladies, they love tall guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I love please. the I love the shortness because I need to go a favor. Nyingi sana. Na kambele, mimi ni prefect, everything ni mimi. Chakula wali mimi ndio nakula. Wana ku prioritize. Mimi ndio natoa ni chakula wali. I was ever young. Yeah. Ever young. And you said time ukusaidia sasa hii bado unakaa. Eh, mimi hata I'm ever young. Na hizo wao at 50. Utasema hiyo 30. Who will know? How will they know? <laughs> So uh, I thank God uh, at class four, I was still in public school. Mm -hmm. Then luckily one guy came, I uh, wanted to sponsor Alikuwa Nafungwa Shule. So because I was among, uh, I was topping, I got favor with the guy and I was sponsored to a private school in town. So That's that is the great. first time nilianza kuenda town. Ndiyo nilijua kisumu town, nikaanza kuona stima. Ndiyo first time naona magari, you know, eh, kumbe igari ni black, mm -hmm. igari ni blue. Hapo ndiyo nilijua kudifferentiate. Mimi nilijua wakisema car, ni gari ndogo peke. Ndiyo car. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Kwa zata ukichora, unakumuka venye tulikuwa na chora tiki wa shule. Yeah. It's the small car. So, yeah. uwezi yona kama basi, matatu, all yes, these other things. Yes, that is the first time kwa napanda magari, mm. na, naenda shule, coming back. So, I studied in, in that school. Uh, still got the favor, became the prefect. Mm. New student, tomorrow make a prefect. Mm. Yes. Which is good. So, Apo ndo ulimalizi ya class 8 yako? Yes. And how did you do when you were doing your exams in class It was not easy. The the man turned again after some times. Oh. Yes. Now I could now, the teachers were the people supporting me. And imagine you studying in school, ukona torch kunyuma kwa short yeah. but wali mundu wana kusaidia. I'm one person mwenye wasichana wakikuja hivi nilikuwa nafunga sweater. Kwa sababu uniform. Na wakirudi nyuma unazungusha. Na, na, unazungusha sweater. <laughs> I, I also had one in a wear. Woi. Yes, mi nimetumia in a wear moja ali class 8. Juu yu tunda ukonayo. Kwa zaika ni imagine kami inararuka, from. Inararuka hadi unaona tu. ukonyuma. And you know that's sad because sasa haukuwa na mzazi mwenye aneza angalia sema yeah. mtoto wangu hana hii hana mm -hmm, hii. Mm -hmm. So you just appreciate what you receive at so, home. So mimi so long as nyingenda shule. But mm. I could keep them clean. Na piga pasi. Mm. Uh, we were using the, 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 the metal iron box. Ile ya maka. Hey, yu kitu <laughs> inaweka line. Sicheze na yu kitu. Kwa sana yu kitu sastima. Do you remember? If you can relate to this story. <laughs> Muna kumbuka mkionga high school umepanga kashota mm. na fukas katika kumbuka. Kwanza kama, kama maka hiko na lalia. Mm. Nalalia nguo yangu. No, if you from, can relate to from Friday, size. from Friday hadi Sunday. Mm. Kifika mande. Ah. Ndio unapiga hiyo juu ya Sipigi. Napiga nimelalia iko na line. Yeah. I'm clean. Smart. So you that's what you're wearing. That's so I could sing in the assembly nikifunga sweta nyuma so that teachers wasione makali yangu. Eh. So students waone tu mbele nikiimba. And, and Maki it's a private school in town. Mm. Kila mtu ako smart. Yeah. Watu wanaleta na magari. Watu wanakula chipo lunch. Mm. Wewe unaenda maybe at some point without food. Yeah. Ulipewa shilingi ngapi? 20 bob. Mm. 10 bob ya gari asubuhi, 10 bob ya gari jioni. Mm. Saa zingine 10 bob ikipotea unakanyaga. Unatembea na unanyeshewa properly. Hadi na vitabu. Unafika nyumbani unaanika vitabu. Oh no. <laughs> Naweza imagine you telling your children this. Unaanika vitabu. <laughs> Hedrids, ukipata watoto, uniite. 
Cuz nataka waniambie stories yote kwa sababu my daddy alisema natembea. I promised myself my kids will live the best life ever. Yeah, because of what you have and you. My kids and my wife they will live the best life ever. No, but I know they'll hear the stories. Kwanza kwa mtoto akikaa hivi ati ya jasoma. Mtoto wangu lazima atumie gari kenda mm, shule. Amen. Ah, hizi nyeshewa. Amen. Kitu nilipitia. Eh. You went through. Now eh. I want to get it because you okay. finished class 8. Mhm in this private school umepambana yeah. tu through and through what you come to support and you know in class in private school mm -hmm. getting a school yeah. in high school it's hard eh? yeah you know you know the reason yeah, they, they'll in private i also public. yeah i also got 347 marks and now i, sc I was called in chulaimbo boys i don't have ways my grandmother has already suggested kunitafutia na nazi mm -hmm. nitembe nayo kibuye market niuze mm -hmm until my uncle said uh, even your mom didn't complete high school primary we umejaribu umefika class eight uko na certificate you can do welding utaomoka siku moja but me i wanted to go to high school and uh, reach even college mm. so unfortunately things never worked well and uh, i decided to become a street kid oh, no. in town mm. for a couple a couple of two to three months mm. for the start and uh, until Uh, watu wamesha join naona venye watu na join shule na mabags na kila kitu in town wanafanywa shopping and wame join hadi imeisha nikasema mm. thank god hiyo shame imeenda mm. nao nimebaki town na wa the fellow street children so these guys uh, the, uh, these guys wameenda shule and i'm like okay it's okay sasa ime naona wanasoma wamerudi hadi aftam wakarudi tena mm. so when it remained one week to closing of term one, a good Samaritan came. That is a principal of Dr. Logumbi. He was mm -hmm. driving mm -hmm. and he parked. So I went to request for something. I didn't know he's a principal by then. So I went to request for something, for support. And uh, uh, the wife was like, our tutu wanakwanga wakora. They can't even steal and the, the principal was like, no, 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 come. This guy looks young but so brilliant. How old are you? Why are you not going to school? Then explaining my story, he took me. It was the first time I stepped my feet in a restaurant. Mm. Dirty, nika pewa chai, ya 150. And mm. I was really sad. Wana uzaji chai kumendogo hivi, ya moja shwali. What's wrong? These people are wasting. Yeah. I just need to take. So from then, the principal, after me narrating him my story, he never left me. He took me to his house mm. in school. Mm, where he teacher's was quarters yeah. yes i didn't know he's a principal so mimi nime na, naishi hapo uh, yeah naenda kazi then he came back then nikaona watoto wa shule wanakuja wakimletea vitu zingine then mimi nimekaa tu na watch with one cloth mm -hmm. kanibaya ingine then he told me i want you to join form one it's remaining five days na wanafunga but i want you to join now and just do exam then utarudi kuendelea next time Mm. I did that exam and I got a C. Mm, which was still good. C plain. Yeah. Yes. Cuz that was a whole new syllabus. So yeah. high school ni kitu mambo mpya. Yes. Mm. So coming back to term two, now I was okay. Then my grandmother came to the school. Mm. Then she took me. She took you back home. Back home. How now. did she know did the principal communicate with yeah, her? Yeah, I gave the numbers. Oh. And Hakuna namba siku aishika kama namba shosho yangu. Nilikuwa nimeshika sana. Yeah. Yeah. Nilisema hata kama nitakufa hapa town hiyo ndio namba nitaandika kwa chest, wapige so simu nipeleke. Yeah. So that is that is how I, I, I joined high school. And that is grace. You know unajua ukianza story, you told us you're here through grace. Mm. But we can see the grace through yeah, your story. Uh, it it's been God. Yeah. My life uh, my life generally It's been God. Ni Mungu amekushikilia. We are grateful so for the I studied in day school. Day school for three years. Mm -hmm. So I was singing in the assembly. Watu wakifukuzwa fee mimi nabaki kwa class. Your principal ananisaidia at some point principal got tired. Akaanza kusema ambia shosha kwa lipelipe kidogo kidogo. Mm. It was a journey. I accepted. Sasa zingine nafukuzwa mimi nafijificha kwa class. Mm. Ikifika siku ya mande naimba kwa parade nipate kibali until at, at form 3 uh, a chemistry teacher bought me a uniform mm. because of singing in the assembly not because of my performance but singing i blessed her with a song i was singing mungu wetu ni wajabu 
Mungu wetu ni wajabu Mungu wetu ni wajabu Mungu wetu ni wajabu Kanitoa wapi kaniweka wapi Kanitoa chini kaniweka kati kanitoa kati kaniweka juu Mungu wetu ni wajabu And I was being called DJ Ni nilikuwa na mix songs Eh ukimba mm. because so also, you, uh, you talent uh, you can do so many things yes eh. oh, doing lot of, lots of songs so the teacher got favor she was uh, tulikuwa tunamuita madam chief alikuwa mkali sana eh. akaniambia <laughs> come 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 toa hiyo sweater kutoa kaona nyuma imearuka akaniambia enda pale kwa ofisi take two pairs of trousers and two pairs of shirts and one sweater half na full and socks kesho na kuletea tafis i was amen. very smart on friday nilimba hadi nikakaa chini amen yeah so through that i got favor then i was also doing music mm. i was also I, i i actually became a christian union chairperson from from one third term to form four mm. so i got favor and uh, i was also in music festival and at form three going to form four I took my school. I think I told you that I took to my school nationals. to the national level and state house. That's the first time I said hi to Uhuru Kinyata and uh, we I saw his face and said oh, when your rise mm. is okay. I And you see the way God will use your talent yes. regardless of your background and situation. I had to forget. To high I had to forget the past and now began focusing on, on my future. future. So at some point for you to grow, you have to harbor no hatred. Yeah. You have also to forget where past. you've come from so and you know now I, i want us to now focus on that because mm. your story has been so touching from a very young age you've gone through ukweli tu ni mungu tu amekushikilia throughout so now i want to hear you've finished high school uko hapa nje you are hustling because time is just almost out i want us to utuambie what happened after high school because you told me you came to nairobi a few mm. times mm -hmm. at some point you were also homeless here yeah ni flyover ni flyover ya dono nimelala hapo nimelala hapo tu just tell us what happened and how you were able to still have faith mm. and hope throughout everything actually what what kept me focused is the god mm. the word of god and the fact that i came to know god at a tender age so at some point i could i could i could i could, uh, I could lose hope but uh, i could also know, i could also still be focused and uh, mm. god i yani ni kuna kitu ilikuwa na ni convict niambia you'll make it someday just keep on uh, in nairobi i became a houseboy i became a me, uh, a hawker nimekuwa maid yeah i've lived with people i've worked in the house of wash cars in the houses of people naosha manguo i've seen our family live and uh, i've worked in shops life became horrible i went back to kisumu again i came back again nimelemewa tena nikatafuta fedha nikarudi tena so the third time when i came back i told god god you see me this is you and this is me so you either I die in nairobi here or i make it so choose ni wewe sasa ni choose i die or i make it mm. so I, that is when i began pushing i began pushing Then after and when was this when was this this third time when you were coming and you were last, saying last uh, two years two years ago yeah and that was maybe you were 21 20, or 22 2021 2021 deck ah yeah and you were still very very young at that age yeah i say it's either it's either die or, or i make it and i pushed i pushed then doors began opening i began meeting big men of god like uh, pius mwiru i began meeting big servants of god in town being invited to sing i do by that i do more of live music mm. i began getting interviews i began being exposed to media then god now be, 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 I began getting right people another thing that i can advise someone uh, going through a lot is pray for right people in your life yes yeah what has made many people to lose hope until they die without succeeding is the wrong people mm. they meet the wrong people so praying for the right people is very important a person who will tell you the truth a person who will rebuke you a person who will embrace you with your weakness a person who will understand the fact yeah that you have gone through this yeah. even in a marriage for example i have not married but i can tell someone that for 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 for, for that marriage to work you have to get the right person mwenye ataelewa we uje kupika ugali eh na kukubali na kukubali hivyo eh uje kufua si ati we was tell lazima uje kufua no come on please uje venye amekwa raised 
Yeah. Eh, unataka kupigana eh na maybe mzazi alimwekea maid from tutoni hadi mzee understand the fact that ako hivyo ulishampenda so praying for the right people when you have the right people a person will embrace you with your weakness with your loneliness a person will understand when you fail a person will understand when you are up a person will understand when you are down a person will love you when you succeed better than him or her Yeah. the right people and that are is so much important in life yeah and that's someone who will add value to your life so, because they genuinely are celebrating yeah. your wins the person who knows that now you you're a media personnel you're doing it well there i accept that fact yeah. that's a right person that's true yeah and now i want to get what is the one major lesson that you have that you will carry and even tell your children through my life this is one thing that i want to impart in you because of what you've experienced what's the one major lesson that you have learned i you should never give up mm. never. just simple never give up never no matter how sick no matter how you are at the point of death jesus never gave up that's this, true these the words jesus used god the cup is too heavy but let your will be done Amen. That alone touched the heart of God, allowing God's will, Jesus allowing his father's will to be done in his life at that particular point when people nobody was close to him. Mm. Jesus allowing his father's will to be done led to the victory of the cross. Yeah. And today we are victorious. Today we are healed. Amen. Today we are Christians. Amen. We are called children of God. So never give up. Just never push through up. every single situation. The phrase is 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 funny. The phrase has been used by many people. The phrase has been overused, but it still have it still have a bigger impact. Yeah, never that is true. give up. Three letter word. Yeah. No matter how tough, no matter how inside never giving up, you pray for the right people. Mm -hmm. Inside never giving up, you have to understand life has ups and down. Mm. Eh. That's true. Eh, and now I wonder Akuna maisha mwema atinyue. Hakuna by the way hakuna hata watu wenye they were brought mm. up in wealth and mm. you know all mm. these things that we admire and we can think you know they have mm. everything. People go through so much yeah, behind Yeah, at some the point doors. they have to go through. Yeah. Because experience also the best teacher. You It can't is. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't you, you, you know I can't teach you. For example, uh, I can't teach you about marriage. Yet I haven't gone through marriage. You I don't can't. Don't have the experience. I can't. Mm. Yes. I might have little knowledge because I'm seeing how people are doing it, but I don't have the inner the yeah. inner knowledge. Mm, that's true. That's the point. But now I wonder at this point because ume ume ndiwa so much mm -hmm. did you ever meet your mom? At any point did you come across and want to find out who she was? Mm -hmm. Sit down with her, talk to her. Did it you was, ever uh, meet your mother? At at uh, at at class eight, I, I I I gave up. Mm. I just said my mom is not there, my dad is not there, I'm no fun. Period. So up until now you you've never met your mother? I, I met my mother at, after form four. Mm -hmm. But I didn't believe she was. I thought she was just an aunt being brought oh. like a mom because I couldn't believe because she still couldn't take me as a mom. Yeah. yeah. There was still no connection yeah. the maternal the, the, the connection. Blood, things were tough. At some point I even went to stay where she was and the husband brutally beated me so badly until she he wanted like to do me something bad but I escaped. So I'm, I'm, I'm one person who have grown one, one man army. Yeah. yeah I'm a one man army guy. Okay. And which is so impressive because the fact that you've able to, you've been able to endure all that, mm. and come out and still say God is God, God is King. You have to, you know, acknowledge His name because He has done all these things for me. Mm -hmm. So I want you to talk to someone because there's so many people who are enduring, a, who are enduring a lot. Mm. People who've been abandoned like you. Mm. I I know of a friend who. He and his brothers were left by their parents when they were young, mm. abandoned. They had to go through almost something similar. Mm. Well, what want to give me a goodwill from people they always idea. Mm. Someone who's dealing with that, or someone who is pregnant at 16 years mm. and they don't know what to do mm. about it, mm. or the boy who has impregnated a 16-year-old mm. girl. Mm. What advice would you give them about the upbringing of that child? Uh, uh, what I have a message to anybody going through. Uh, something uh, the message I have is very simple number one it might be your fault uh, you going through it maybe you had your plans and now you're realizing that the danger of, uh, of what you're going through because of how you did it uh, or for example you are going through something 
that y you never found yourself, it wasn't your fault. Mm -hmm. But you're going through it, you're finding it very difficult to overcome. Uh, what I can tell this person, one thing that you have to put in your mind, once you're a human being, that life will never be up at all time. Yeah. That is the first thing. Life will never be up at all time. Be ready for anything at any time, at all cost. Mm. Live a life when you're ready. You know when you're ready, you can take up any chance. Mm. Once you're ready, you get anything the point. That happens you're told, please prepared. carry the table, you are ready. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Please say hi to Edwins, you're ready. Mm. Because uh, akuna, akuna vizu easy. Y y your mind is focused. Mm -hmm. When somebody is ready, the p it means that the person's mind is focused. Yeah. So what I can tell the person, one, one thing is in whatever you're going through, know that someday you'll overcome. Someday you will have to overcome it. Mm -hmm. But when you principle yourself, I mean, you, 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 you give yourself some hope. When you give yourself some hope, that is when you'll allow the right people to come into your life. To come into your life. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, people neglecting you or people abandoning you does not mean that you are a failure. Yes, that's another very critical thing. Mtu wa kikuacha imanishi wewe ni mjinga ma wewe ni failure. No, 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 no. Standing alone or choosing a different path, like I choose this but many people are on this, does not mean that I'm wrong. So never give up. Embrace hope. Keep hope as a verb. And in every path, tread carefully. Mm. Yes, don't give in fully. Accept all the advices, accept everything. But sit down with your concerns because you are the person who knows what you want in your life. Sit that down with true. your concerns and say, okay, nataka ni lewe, lewa bas. Eh, until si kujue kulewa nimba, nimbaya. Make a decision you. that you know you are fully comfortable with. Mm. Don't make a decision that people are comfortable with. Yeah. Make a decision that you as Hedrins, you as John, you as Mercy, you are comfortable with that decision. Mm -hmm. That is why you find at some point uh, parents uh, tell the, ch the student, the children, their children, I want you to be a doctor. And the, past, the child don't, doesn't want to be a doctor. Yeah. Unapata na enda usiptali and he kills mm. the patients. Because uh, how could our time... Yake? Yeah, mm. I could time to make a decision. So give them a decision. At some point, we, the parents, they give chance for Watoto to make decisions. Yeah. So, Walan. They say, oh my God. I'm sorry, ma. You, you told me not to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the dangers. So from the decision I may make, at Alan. Yes. But I say, ma, oh God. I have to amend this in yes. future. No, and that's, no, that's no, also no. important because experience is the best teacher. We've True. had that before. That's the point. So that, I want that, us actually to... Actually, that crowns it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I want us to, as we're coming to an end, where can we find you on social media? Because at home, I know you've been touched by this story mm. and there are so many people who may want to reach out to you afterwards. Yeah. So could you share your socials or tell us also where the YouTube channel, where you've mm. launched your music so mm. that we can go and listen to you and support you? On social media, uh, platforms or handouts, whatever, uh, by grace, if you today, at least God is giving grace in the media, uh, you just type headrins. Utapata kila kitu. Adivi niliosha vimbo kwa TikTok. Utapata zote. Na tutana to watch zote. At uh, TikTok, I'm San Headrins. Mm -hmm. S-E-R-N, San Headrins. I know there's an agent of the Bible. Who yeah. Are, yeah, know that one. That is SA. Because I found out we were going to question marks to go like, hmm, <laughs> headrins. <laughs> San headrins on TikTok, San headrins on Facebook, San headrins on IG. Yeah. Uh, San headrins Kote Kote. Okay. At a yeah. YouTube page. YouTube is Geoffrey Headrins. Geoffrey Headrins. headrins. But okay. if you just do headrins, headrinness. You love to get my stuffs. All okay. Of them. And I'll Thank be grateful. You, so you follow, you subscribe, you drop your comment, you can share uh, anything you are having. We can share together. Uh, if you are down, you've gone through something, I'm here. We can share. At least God can use me to a level to lift you up from Thank you. where you are. 
Amen. Thank you. Because, you know, honestly, God gives us some situations Excellent. so that we can be able to touch others. Mm. So thank you so much. That's it for today. I don't think we're going to have time to sample some of the comments, but I really appreciate you for taking your time to watch us this evening. I hope you have gotten something from this conversation. Do not judge others. Do not oppress others because you do not understand their situations mm. and accept <coughs> who you are and work from where you are. God is powerful. There is great there is mercy there is love all around us yeah. so that is it for today thank you so much once again for watching us my name is Cheryl Blessing and this has been the Power Talk show you can find a repeat of the show tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. and we will also be on YouTube so stay tuned next week at the same time same place we will have yet another interesting conversation for you have a lovely evening and thank you so much Imagine.